Hey YouTubers, it's Sam again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a magic memory stick for a PSP Slim or Fat. So, the things you're going to need are a USB cord to plug into your PSP, you're going to need a PSP Slim or Fat, and you're going to need a, me a memory stick that's at least one gigabyte. So, what you're going to want to do first is, it's a good idea to just, um, if you want to back up, so if you have something that you want to back up on your memory stick, to do that, but... After you do that, uh, just click go on system settings and then format memory stick. Click yes. Mm, yes. Uh, it says format failed, but it should work. The format will work. Okay. So anyway, then you're going to, uh, okay. Click on the link in the video description, and once you do that, it should take you to a page that looks like this. So... Uh, all you're going to do is if you don't have a RapidShare account, just click free user, but if you do, just use premium user. And then if you're a free user, just click it, and you'll have to wait like 30 seconds, and then you just click download and download it. So I already have it downloaded, so once it's done downloading, it'll look like that, or something like that. And so if, if you want, you can extract it, but if not, just open it up. And then once you open it up or extract it, just open up the Pandora plus something universal. And then click on the one that says autorun.exe. You might want to right click. And you can either right click or just double click and you can press open. Now go press go. And okay, it'll, this thing will pop up and you just click step one, go. So connect your PSP, so just connect your PSP by a USB cable, and so, uh, it says connect your PSP by a USB cable, then select your PSP drive, then press OK. So, um, uh, it said to, you know, go and enter USB mode, so you, you enter USB mode, and then go to my computer, this thing will pop up, just go to my computer and then click the removable disk. It'll either say like PSP or removable disk or something like that. And it'll say a letter right next to it. So then just press OK. Now it'll say, now go to step 2, you just do that. It says, your memory stick is going to be logically formatted now, press Y at the prompt. So, uh, all you do is press Y. See? Simply press Y right, right there, just press Y. And then, see how it says Y? Then you press Enter. So, it says now go to step 3, just press OK. And then go to step 3. So your PSP memory stick is now going to be modified. At the prompt, press Y, then Enter. Press OK. So, this little prompt will pop up. And once again, all you do is press Y, and then Enter. Now it says now reboot your PSP and go to step 4. So all you do is press OK. And then get off USB mode. Get off USB mode. And then simply hold down, um, hold it down, hold down the power button until it turns completely off. And then turn it back on. And if you turn it completely off, it'll do the Sony computer entertainment thingy. So yeah, make sure you turn it completely off. And then, so go to step four, it says. Okay, connect the PSP by USB cable. The uh, file copy will then commerce. Okay, so then once again, go back to USB connection. And that thing might pop up. You just exit out. And then, so once it, where it says connect to PSP by USB cable, and then the file copy will commence, just click OK. And then, so all these, all these files will start copying. And it'll, it'll take not that long. And so once the last one is done, see it's almost done. It'll say okay, then that'll just go away. Now it says now it says 
uh, now go PSP game direct and run Pandora's battery creator. Now this you're not going to do. This step you're just going to skip because this is if you already have custom firmware. But we, we don't have custom firmware yet so uh, you just press OK and get out of there. So yeah. And then exit out of there. Pandora goodbye Mr. Dude. Okay. Just press OK. So exit out and so basically um yeah that's all you're gonna do and then once all that is finished what you once all that is finished uh you now have a magic memory stick so congratulations and so uh I'll be making another video very very soon showing you how to hack your PSP and the two things you're gonna need to hack your PSP is a magic memory stick and a Pandora's battery so yeah. Hope this video helped and thanks for watching and have a nice day. Thanks YouTubers. Bye.